Hello guys and welcome to the video. Today I will show you how to stick text to a moving object in Premiere Pro. That will look something like this. Pretty cool, right? So let's jump into Premiere so I can show you how to do it. Okay, so now we are in Premiere and we have our video that we want to work on here. This is the video from the beginning of this one. And I just dropped it down so I don't only have the footage where I want my text to be. Uh, of course, it doesn't need to be text, you can put pictures as well, but for today's video, I'm gonna use a text. To add text, simply go on this type tool here or just click T on your keyboard, click anywhere on your footage to add your text. Put whatever you want, I will put subscribe here. And now if you want to add this, maybe change the font or maybe change the color, you can go here under effects and controls and click on this arrow here and you have all the options here. Or you can go to the graphics panel and change everything there. I will not change anything, maybe I will change this here. This will just make the space between every letter a little bit smaller. And maybe I will just scale it down a little bit and that would be okay. Uh, now we need to find the part where we want our movement to start. So let's go forward, let's say here. So position the text over there and now go to effects and controls and position your text above your hand. There we go. And now we need to activate the position, the, the stopwatch for position, activate it and then we'll create a new keyframe for the position. And now we need to move forward frame by frame so we can change the position of the text as the hand is moving. To go frame by frame you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard. So the right arrow will go frame forward and the left arrow will go frame backward. But I don't recommend changing the position for every frame because your text will look really shaky. Just go and jump maybe 3 frames, 5 frames, of course depending on your footage. And maybe sometimes if you need it you can just put it frame by frame if you really need to but try to avoid it as much as you can. Now let's say I will go one, two, three, four, and maybe now change the position just a little bit. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so we're done now here. Let's check this. Okay, this looks good, uh, but this requires a little bit of work because you need to do everything manually and we're still not done. This looks good, but it doesn't look natural. To look natural, we need to add a little bit of blur. So go into effects and type blur. Get this directional blur and drag and drop it into your text. And now under effects and controls, you can see that we have a directional blur. If our movements was just one directional, it would have been really easy. Just add values to the direction and blue length and you're done. But because we have a movement that goes uh, faster, slower, up and down, uh, we need to change the direction and the blur length every frame like we did for the, for the text. So let's go with first here. Position your cursor here, and now we have a text. Make the keyframes bigger. So first we don't have much of a movement, so we don't need to add that much of a values. Maybe add, let's say, 75, it may be 1. And then activate these two keyframes, and let's go forward. Let's hit here. Now here we have a bigger movement. So add, let's say, maybe 100 with 2.5 forward 
add keyframe again. Now we have slower movement, maybe two to eighty five. Here we have a faster one, go 90 with maybe 2.5. And now we have the fastest movement here. So we're gonna go and add maybe 100 with 3 here. You need to experiment on this depending on your footage, of course. Maybe sometimes you will need it much faster or much slower than this. So I can't really show you how to do it. You can, you just need to try it. So I think that we are done now. Let me now play it back. And that looks okay. It could have been better if you work on it a little bit more but it already looked good. That's basically, that's how to stick text to a moving object in Premiere Pro. It's easy, but it takes some time because you need to do everything manually. It's much faster to do it in After Effects and it will look even better. But if you're not familiar with After Effects and you don't want to learn After Effects just to do this, you can simply just do it in Premiere. It requires a little bit more work, but you can get almost the same results. And yeah, that's basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you do, consider liking and subscribing. And I will see you in my next video. Peace.